Oh, how's it going this morning, guys? April 8th. Or is it 7th? I think it's the 7th. Uh, if I do that, it'll turn off. Um, Tuesday. Yeah, uh, yesterday I talked about something new and exciting. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna actually... We'll see, I started it. Uh, here it is. Can you see that? I took a metal ore, silver coin, from one of the biggest refiners in the world, and I etched on it. Can you see that? It says pit. Get in the pit now. And then around the outside, it says participation in immutable transparency, right there. And then I put, of course, one of my favorite tokens, the Ethereum token, on the mountain, the Metal Ore Mountain. I etched it. It did come out perfect. Gonna probably need some flat ones. We'll see what you guys think. I was actually thinking of tying it to my Funge token, making it so you can only buy these with Funge, and then registering a non-fungible token with this. What do you guys think of that one? Those that understand what the fuck I'm talking about. God, I'm an idiot. Speaking of idiots, I wanted to bring up uh, today the idea of what inflation is and uh, how Ethereum pumped so hard comparatively uh, in this past uh, 24. I think... Uh, Central planners, bankers, financiers, I think they like Ethereum a little bit better because of its inflation um, and the malleability of it. Uh, yeah, I want to keep the conversation relevant to the reason we got into Bitcoin and the reason that Bitcoin was created or the reason crypto was created is, uh, you know, regulating the regulators and uh, putting everything in a place where participation is immutable and transparent. Um... I doubt that'll ever happen, considering probably not in my lifetime. It looks like this whole pandemic scare is going away, and there's no uprising of individuals who want to stand up for those that stand next to them. We seem to uh, have kind of acquiesced even further into the idea that small groups of people get to control large groups of people. And with that being said, I wanted to ask you, if you could tell me, like the Fed and other entities that determine inflation rates, right? Uh, where, where, where does that inflation come from and where does it go to? Like, who gets the inflation? And, uh, with anybody's understanding of that inflation, why would we want no inflation, no, no interest rates? Why would we want, uh, negative interest rates, you know? Who does that serve or what purpose does that serve? Um, I hate the idea because I believe that it is just... A magical transfer from uh, uh, the uh, righteous to the corrupt. Um, I think that's exactly what interest is, unfortunately. Um, when it comes to what we understand it, when it comes to financialization, I do believe the word interest is a, a much more significant word than that. Um, for instance, the interest I have in Bitcoin... And, or crypto, not Bitcoin as much as the rest of the other, um, but definitely B Bitcoin because of its um, significance in, in the beginning of this whole thing that we call crypto. I, I, just explain to me what the hell is interest to you. I mean, if I could I just beg of you, like just a couple of you to speak to interest and what you know of it or understand of it or even just guess. Um, I would be a really good topic to... Uh, kind of move forward with because most people, even the smartest that we read about, uh, Jim Grant is the one, the interest rate observer. If you guys know who that is, uh, or no, is it, I think his last name's Grant. He's a really quirky looking nerdy guy, but man, he's a genius when it comes. He has a publication called the interest rate observer. And every time he opens his mouth, I'm really compelled. I haven't seen him in reference to this financial debacle. I should probably look him up. Because I think he'd probably have some really uh, well, well uh, thought out insight that I think I pretend I understand. But yeah, what's your game on interest? Is is it, is is your belief like mine that Ethereum is going to uh, create a flipping the next pump because of its? Uh, uh, or yeah, even more importantly, how about XRP? Everybody's game on XRP and how it's going to be the. Uh, uh, a conduit to allow banks to remove the intermediaries and central banks will be able to immediately publish straight to the uh, user, to us individually. Our bank will be the central bank. We won't have to go through the intermediaries with XRP because it's got unlimited liquidity. 
fucking XRP morons. I think Ethereum will fucking make a joke of XRP. Um, I think the people that are buying XRP are made a joke of. Don't think I don't hold any of it because I know, for one thing, I'm generally wrong. <laughs> so, hedge! But, yeah. So that's the conversation. Kind of boring. You know. Here's to regulating the regulators by participating in immutable transparency. Um, when the pump comes, I'll probably release my token. I am going to remove the developer fee, it looks like. Um, and make it so that it's just communal based. And it'll probably get no participation. And it probably won't happen for a while. Um, considering, uh, you know, I got other things to worry about right now. I got to like, pay bills and stuff. It's ironic. All the There's four different biz- businesses in the complex I'm in. One of them makes knives. The guy's back-ordered because he makes custom knives. The other one's, uh, 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 they make, uh, what do they make? They make um, ref- essentially refrigeration units that bring temperatures to sub, sub, sub zero so that uh, uh, military and other um, industries can test components. So when they go up in the atmosphere and stuff that they continue to work at extremely uh, volatile temperatures. So those guys are doing just fine. And then uh, the uh, end of me, there's some dudes, Plus One and AJ and all these guys make surfboards. And I don't know. I don't think... I don't know how they're doing so well. You can't even go surfing right now. But a lot, I guess got a lot of guys out of the water, you know, just getting ready to go back in the water. So they're not doing so bad. And I'm not either. I can't complain compared to many, you know. I did do a little bit of business. And thank goodness, you know, one of you guys out there helped me with the... Uh, Consumption, consumption of silver. For what it's worth, I've got three new coins coming online um, to how to buy silver uh, now.com. This is FDR. I'm selling that for next to nothing because he was an absolute fucking cunt. Um, so that'd be a good one for to pay attention to. It'll probably get close to what uh, uh, most people are selling. Here's the Metal Ore coin that's got the engraving of the pit on it. Uh, uh, that's going to go for some high dollars. And then this one's going for a ton of money. This here is a commemorative uh, 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 bar. Um, celebrating the Boston Tea Party. Um, yeah, the Boston Tea Party, uh, where, uh, patriots dressed up as Indians and because of a meager tax on tea, decided to, like, stop using tea. Fucking very significant. Motherfuckers that you and I will never know. Real fucking patriots. This one's going for bank. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.